Joined by head coach Brandon Igerwood after the Beacons 10-5 win. Coach, another comeback win. This one was a little bit easier, making the comeback a little bit earlier. Talk about the approach during that eight-run fourth inning. They went through three pitchers. You guys didn't have a ton of big hits, but just turning the lineup over. Yeah, we kept the line moving. You know, we didn't really get that big home run or bases clear and triple. Uh, we had a lot of walks, a lot of singles, and uh, we took some extra bases with some, uh, you know, balls and dirt and different things to kind of take those free 90s. Uh, a lot of respect for Penn State Burks. I thought they have an outstanding team. Uh, they swung the bats extremely well. Uh, JT hasn't been hit hard all year, and they, they put some very good swings on him. I thought Kaufman did a great job when he came into the game to really kind of hold it down and kind of lock it up. You guys have thrown four pitchers in this tournament, three today, all freshmen or sophomores. How do you sort of approach putting them into the game, maybe talking to them, getting them ready for a moment like this? Yeah, I mean, we're in postseason now, so I'd like to consider them all sophomores. But, yeah, we rely on a lot of freshmen, but they throw strikes. They're, they're not really a nervy group, and uh, as long as they can continue to attack the zone, um, we just got to play cleaner on defense. I think that's something we're still going to need to do if we're going to continue to move along. Uh, if we play cleaner tomorrow, we're going to have a shot to, to be in that championship on Saturday. Obviously, you'd like the top of the order to be hitting a little bit better, but six through nine today, another huge game. Brian yeah. Dupree's been huge, Sal Pacino, Kyle Boudreaux. How important is it for you to hit one through nine rather than have to rely on those two through five hitters to come up with the big hits every time? Yeah, whenever you can move the line and have a complete lineup, uh, it definitely helps. And I think we're known for our big dogs in the middle, but we've got some very good hitters kind of throughout. And I think, uh, you know, Kyle had a couple of really good line drives today. Uh, Dupes has been uh, fall ball Dupes, just swinging the bat extremely well. He's loose and confident up there. And uh, Fresino hit some balls very hard today. So, you know, I think we're – we try to be a complete team and not just rely on Murph and Searles and Mantoni. And um, I think today it showed that you know we can get production all over the lineup. Congratulations on the win, Coach, and we'll see what happens tomorrow. Thank you.